Okay, uh, it's evening where I'm currently at, so good evening everyone. This is currently my second video I've been recording like in person. Currently I'm not using a script, there's like nothing in front of me, so this is speaking straight to you. So the reason why I wanted to start this video is today I had a really great, great day. Currently, um, my school is doing this holiday school program where you go to school at seven and leave at three and you do major subjects for about two hours for each subject. And it's kind of to get on top of the stress of matric, which is your final year of high school in South Africa. And so after I finished school at three o'clock and I was feeling very like down and sad throughout the entire day. And I went to, went to gym with some friends and gym, today's gym was so quality as all of my friends basically hit new PRs. My one friend, Anele, he was busy benching 110. I mean, he was deadlifting like 110, like for reps, which previously was his personal record or personal best, which he would say. And then my other friend, Steven, he was, um, he was, he benched 80 for the first time and he weighs like 60 something. So I'm very proud of him. He's like a few years younger than me. And today I benched 90 kgs for the first time. If you check my channel, you'll see that I did 90 just before I turned 18, so in March. But the issue was my arms, they weren't equal, like it was off balanced and I didn't go to my chest. It's like one of my first ever videos and some guys commenting like, it didn't go to your chest, doesn't count. And I was like, okay, thank you. Another person was commenting, leave the ego at home. And so I hit 90 today and now I'm busy. I just get out the shower and I've been thinking about it the whole time. It really is such a benefit to improve your life because before self-improvement, it felt like I couldn't get anywhere. You'd see the pictures of the guys online and like they have the best good bodies and they're getting all these happy things in their life and they're getting bigger and you, you think, oh, I wish I could be like that or oh, I'm really fat. And like the concept of improvement isn't really in your head. And throughout self-improvement, uh, thanks for Hamza, that's where, really where I started. He got into my recommendations and that's where I started now moving on my own. I watch his videos as well and stuff like First Man. And the concept that I can actually improve, it just came into my head. Like I know before, like, yeah, I can work out and all that stuff. And I did go to gym occasionally. And, but my gymming was, I broke my collarbone like a four, four times. So I couldn't go to gym for a while and I didn't have like a proper schedule. And after Hamza's thing, I started like properly scheduling what I was doing each day, how many reps, how I could improve. And I was watching more videos and what to do better form. And I started seeing some good results. And as I've been going, I've been getting better. Beginning of this year, I weighed 98 kgs, getting close to 100. That's going into obesity level. Same height I am now, which is like 6'1". And like, I wanted to make a change. Like, I was slowly losing weight and getting more, more defined, but it was really nothing. So I'm thinking this year, I, need, I was thinking this year, I need to lose weight. And my first goal was um, by university, I want to have a, be, be like proper looking good for university. And since, well, if I, can get, if I can get into university, so far it's going well. And I thought, okay, let me start. So I started there. I'll try to eat more foods, try to figure out how can I change it up. So the first change I did was every, uh, for school, I, rather than buy tuck shop or buy from the school shop for food, I would make my own sandwiches. And I primarily made like cheese sandwiches with butter. And that was a lot of calories that I didn't really notice until one day I didn't, this one week we didn't have school and I started eating at home and I felt like I was losing weight because I was like eating better. So I started to change up my school with diets better. I wouldn't always make cheese sandwiches. I'd try to reduce the cheese, reduce the butter. And I kept on going. By March, I was 94 kgs. So when I just turned 18, 94, I lost four kgs just by small, small diet changes. Then I decided it's time for me to get into fitness power because everyone's been talking about it and I never tried it. I was like, okay, let me just try it once. I started and it was going slowly, going slowly. And currently it's been a few months and I've lost seven kg since then. And I'm starting to like, I've even gained a little bit of muscle, not much, but like I've at least maintained my previous muscles. And it's like these small changes in our everyday life is really like accumulating. Like for example, when I couldn't do, I could, do, could, I could just do 90 bad form when I weighed 94 kgs, even close, yeah, about 94 is March. So I weighed 94, I could barely bench 90. I couldn't do, I couldn't do any body weight stuff. And I started working at body weight, started working at gym rings. You can see them more on my channel. And it started going nicely. I'm starting to do more dips. I, can, I just hit 10 reps of dips the other day. And about a month ago, I could barely do two. And it's like, it's going nicely. I'm doing more 100 push-ups every Saturday, every push day when I do push at home. And I'm changing it up, 
incline, I'm doing no diamond push-ups, I'm doing it on the gym rings, I'm doing like, it's going really well. I'm increasing in strength, my Arnold's are finally going up in reps, I've been struggling for so long. And it's like, it's going amazing and my grades are going up and I feel like one of the main causes of this was simply like, the showing up every day. Like, you need to show up. It's like 90% of the battle is actually being there. When you're there for every lesson, you're learning a lot. When you don't want to pay attention, like when you're actually there, like I've been like I was always in the lessons, obviously, but now I've been like focusing more, taking more notes. I'll be putting in the extra time to go over the work. I'll be like studying with friends more efficiently, and it's slowly coming up. I'm hitting a seventy four percent average, whereas in a few years ago I was like almost failing grade nine. I was like doing very badly. I'm saying I was like a few times, which is not that good. And even in grade ten, I was like <laughs> in grade ten. I was just, in grade 10, I was just hitting about a um, 60, I was low 60 average, and I believed I could never get past that 65 hurdle. And it went up and down a few times. Um, I think my averages eventually evened out about 68, 69. I kept on working, kept on working, learned more. Now I've made it to the 70 range, and it's just going up. I got a 74 average a few days ago, which is like the best I've ever gotten. And I'm, almost, I'm in some of the hardest times of school there is. It's really, it's like showing up, actually just getting to your desk and putting in some effort. It's like, it's really amazing that we can actually improve ourselves. And it's so weird to me looking back to think that I didn't know that when it's such a simple, easy thing. Like you really can improve with the hard work and effort. It's like everyone says, well, not everyone. One person often says to me, imagine what I could do if I had your work ethic. I'm like, you can do it. You can easily have my work ethic. Like, it's not that much above everyone else. It's like very, very, very minuscule. It's just the constant being there, showing up is the battle. And currently, I'm thinking, I was thinking at the shower, I need to upload today. Oh, I didn't take any videos in the gym. I was like, I'm trying to focus more on quality. I'm trying to figure out, like, which better editing software to use. And I was thinking, I was kind of scared to video myself online. Because last time, I was like, I have to really take myself five times. Now, I just, I just started because... Here I am, what can I do? And I guess it's the more unedited me. In the last video also was my first time speaking to a camera. And it kind of, it's awkward, but I feel like now the second time it's going a lot better. So I don't know if you can notice, but it's definitely going a lot better. Oh, I'm feeling good. Also, another big improvement I've done is pull-ups. Um, the this beginning of this year, I could barely do one proper pull-up, right? And now as I've been going through it, I eventually, the form wasn't that great. And I eventually I went up, I went up, went up. Then I'd get to like, I'd push and I would like break the form a bit. And I'd be like, okay, does, I don't want to ego lift and rush this thing. I want to slowly progress properly. So I'd say, yes, I did eight pull-ups, but the last form wasn't good. Let's not count it. Seven. Next rep, I'm going to do five. So I've been going, I've been going. I got to a point where I was doing 12, 12, 12, but I wasn't doing full range of motion. Now someone said to me on YouTube, start doing full range of motion. Back from the beginning. I was doing like three, three. Today I hit eight. Eight full pull-ups, range of motion, full hanging all the way down, knees tucked, backpack up again. And the first few were like proper explosive. Like I was like flying in the air. I felt like weightless. And it's amazing how much we can actually achieve. People, there's this other person who I was, they were talking about physiques. And then he told his brother, he told his brother that I had like a really good physique. Oh, I hope he's not watching this. Uh, if he is, it's like, hi. And then I was like, I was shocked because like when I look at my own physique, I don't really think it's that great. I mean, we're getting there. It's like the hard work. It's not, it's not unachievable. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. And it's just the hard work that we're going through. It's showing up every day. Like even when it's like rest day, you need to make sure you take a rest day. It's important. And with the dieting, recently I stopped dieting because I'd be going out of friends. Now I'm getting back into it slowly and surely figuring out better ways to um, like reduce the calories unnecessarily. Like instead of using olive oil, I use a spray on. It's like five calories versus like 30 every meal. That's like proper. And I'll be eating better breads and like less calorie breads, like sourdough. And it's like the constant small improvements are changing my life, properly changing my life. Everything's going up. And we're living in a time with so much like self-gratification and addictions. And you just to not simply, everyone, I wouldn't say I'm like top, I'm not very like, super clever, super fit, super strong. But as I've been going, I've been slowly improving and I've been, I've been working my hardest to not drop off. And it's like, now I'm getting closer to the top and closer to the top and I'm looking around me, I'm confused. I'm like, where did everyone go? I'm like, the nobody. 
It's they've all like people are just dropping. It's the constant small efforts in your life that make a difference. Making your bed when you wake up. I've started doing that. I just don't feel good and I don't make my bed anymore. Like I can do anything. I don't know if David Goggins has a thing on it or something. Someone big did a thing on making your bed every morning. Maybe it was in a TED talk. But it's even making your bed every morning. These small changes in my life make so much effort as I've been going. It's like these good habits, they're piling up. I'll be honest, I've been skipping a bit out of my meditation and gratitude journaling, which I need to get more back into. Actually, I think I have the book. Uh, here's the first book I started. Um, first date was 7 of February. I did pretty well. And I need to get back into this thing. But I, I, it's actually, even my teacher has been saying, your handwriting's improved. And that leads to more marks because it's, like, it's easier for them to read. Just because I've been like gratitude. And I've been feeling better about all sorts of things. Like There's like all these good side effects I didn't even think would be coming with it. And I'm grateful for it. And I really hope you guys also start as well. And definitely, I'd start making your beds in the morning. Like, you can improve your life and it's going to get there. You can do anything. Yeah, that's, that's all I have to say, guys. Thanks.